Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jordan with Big Boy Toys. And sometimes those big boy toys, they have recalls. And that's what today's video is about. It's about a uh, uh, recall that was put out by Ford. Actually, it's a safety compliance recall. Um, and it's going to involve the reverse cameras across the whole uh, lineup of Ford vehicles. Um, basically, when you put your vehicle into reverse, you might get a uh, pixelated or digitized or maybe even a blurry camera. And this uh, safety compliance recall is basically going to address that. Um, let me give you the list of vehicles that this is going to affect. It's going to be, uh, these are all 2020 models. It's going to be the Explorer, the F-150, the Mustang, the Transit, the Super Duty. Now with the Super Duty, uh, it's going to be the 250, 350, 450, maybe the 550 and the 650, uh, but I'm unsure. The Expedition, the Escape, the Corsair, Edge, Ford Ranger, and Lincoln Nautilus. Um, I actually own a 2020 Ford F-250. Um, that vehicle is actually in the at the dealership right now, actually getting this repair done as we speak. Um, in the next clip, I'm going to go over um, the documentation, what you need to know, what you need to do. Um, and also, I got a short video in there that actually shows you what uh, the problem my vehicle was having. So let's get into that uh, to the rest of the video. But before we do, I want to give a shout out to one of my sponsors, uh, Super Clean, Clean Super Easy and Super Fast. Okay guys, this is the uh, Ford documentation that comes out. This was dated November 6 of 2020. It is the Compliance Recall 20C19. Um, just should be noted for me, um, my vehicle is actually down at the dealership today, which is May 12th, 2021, to get this done. Um, so I'm actually doing this while I'm waiting on my uh, recall to be completed. So here's a list of vehicles that are included in this recall, which affects the uh, rear view camera. It is the, uh, these are all 2020 models. So this is the Explorer, F-150, Mustang, Transit, Super Duty, Expedition, Escape, Corsair, Edge, Nautilus, and Ranger. And over here to the right, you can see the build dates that are on here. Um, and one of the ways you can find your build date is that um, there's actually a sticker on the inside of your driver's side door that should have your build date. Also, if you have your um, window sticker like I have here, if you come down to the bottom, I know this says special order, but um, if you didn't special order it, these numbers will still be down here. And you can see I highlighted 227 of 20, which is when uh, my truck was built. So these are the vehicles and the build dates. Um, Reason for this compliance recall. In some of the affected vehicles, insufficient electrical conductivity within the printed circuit board, PCB internal to the camera may lead to intermittent rear view camera operation. A rear view camera that intermittently displays a blank or distorted image can reduce the driver's view of what is behind the vehicle and does not conform to the requirements specified by the Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard. So I wanted to show you a... Um, video that I actually took of my camera not working correctly and this is what my screen looked like when I put it in uh, reverse back it up so you can pause, I pause it for you so this is it right here this is when I'm in reverse and you can see my screen is completely completely distorted and not only that um, but in this video I actually go to my uh, my high mount which is in the bed of my truck and that one actually goes bad as well let me show you that here so you can see it flickered my high mount and in the screen here you can see I don't know if it's going to show up in a video, but um, you actually start to see the screen flicker a little bit. Let me zoom in here. So you can see it kind of flicker and distorting. And they're actually going to replace that as well. And I think they're actually doing the front, the front camera too. So it looks like I'm going to get probably three cameras out of the deal. 
So continuing on, service action. Before demonstrating or delivering any new in-stock vehicles involved in this recall, dealers are to replace the rear view camera following the attachment. Technical information. This service must be performed on all affected vehicles at no charge to the owner. So here's one of the things. This came out when I say November, and I'm just getting it done now. So it says uh, not all parts are currently available in sufficient qu quantities to repair all vehicles. Um, so if you come down here, it is anticipated that parts will be available in sufficient qu quantities to repair all vehicles in the first quarter of 2021. So that's basically where I'm at right now. I'm just getting it done. Um, continuing on. Sold vehicles. Ford has not issued instructions to stop selling, delivering, or driving used vehicles under this compliance recall. Owners should contact their dealer for an appointment to have their vehicles remedied as soon as practical. Owners can continue to safely drive their vehicles. Dealers are to prioritize repairs of customer vehicles over repairs of new and used vehicle inventory, which is good. But I doubt they're selling too many 2020s anymore anyway, especially trucks. Owner refunds. Refunds are not approved for this program. So if you did buy a new, and I did look up these cameras online, I think they're about $230 for one camera. So um, if you did replace yours, it looks like refunds are not approved for this program. If you are a Lincoln pickup or a Lincoln truck, owners of a 2017 and newer Lincoln vehicles have the option of requesting pickup and delivery service with a Lincoln loaner up to two days. Oh, fancy you guys. Um, yeah. We're going to make a Lincoln truck. Oh, wait, they did years ago, but they don't do it anymore. I kind of remember them being kind of ugly, too. Let's continue on. So uh, it doesn't look like it's going to take too much time to fix these. If you look at the labor time over here in almost all the vehicles, um, it looks like it's anywhere between about a half hour up to maybe about 45 minutes. That's what they give to fix these, but um, usually the mechanics service techs will take uh, longer than this. And scrolling down, kind of tells you what the, the parts for what specific vehicle they need to order. And actually, for some of these vehicles, service procedures, so this is the service pr procedure that the techs will be following. Um, on how to do these. And I'll kind of just scroll through these and get an idea of what they're doing. And I'm going to put a link to this document um, in the description of the video so you guys can uh, pull it up and review it yourselves. That's pretty much, it goes over a few other little things in here, but I doubt any of you guys are going to be doing this yourself. Okay, guys, so there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully it made you more informed about what you need to do. Uh, you can take this information down to the dealership. You may or may not have gotten your letter for this recall. Um, if you haven't, you can always call your dealership and give them your uh, VIN number and they can run it for you and tell you if you're actually on this recall or not. Um, I do like to do these recall videos because it keeps everybody informed. It keeps them safe. Um, yeah, it keeps them up to date that are on, you know, what's going on with their vehicles. Um, I know sometimes in the comments section, uh, there's a lot of negativity towards the uh, manufacturers. Uh, but the way I see it is that, uh, you know, back in the old days or not even that long ago, if you had a vehicle, um, you know, it could be a widespread problem that was uh, known on the Facebook forums or internet forums or what have you and you take it down to the dealership and they would tell you uh, I don't know we're unable to duplicate or uh, works as designed or something like that and everybody would get super super frustrated with uh, the manufacturers so um, the way I see it is that uh, all these vehicles doesn't matter what you have they're all going to have uh, little problems here and there it kind of just really matters on how these manufacturers take care of us so far um, Ford has taken care of of uh, taking care of us pretty well in the sense that uh, they recognize these issues and they're fixing them. Um, I've read some of the comments that says, you know, go buy a Toyota or what have you. Well, uh, my last truck that I had was a uh, Toyota Tundra and I bought that truck brand new in 2007. 
and I had it for about 11 years and uh, it was an excellent truck. I will not deny that, but it did have some problems. It did have some recalls and Toyota took care of those um, for me without an issue. So uh, Ford's kind of in the same boat. All these manufacturers all have a lot of uh, recalls on them and it really just matters on how they uh, take care of us. So um, anyway, that pretty much concludes the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. I have a bunch of other videos you might find uh, interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.